morning, everybody. It's your boy Farley back for a long overdue uh, music collection update. This is going to be all vinyl, uh, and I think it's going to be about uh, three weeks worth of uh, purchases. Uh, I have slowed down, and I can tell you why. Those of you that follow me on Facebook or friends with me on Facebook know I've had a lot of things go wrong, both with my house and with my truck, and so I've spent a lot of money. Uh, for a new garage door that fell off, <laughs> it just fell off and and bent. It was crazy. Uh, garage door, uh, my heating and air went out. <laughs> um, I've got to get a new unit. That I haven't done yet. Uh, uh, what else? Tires for the truck, new lawnmower. So it's like, last time I looked, I spent over $5,000 since like February in vehicle and house repair stuff. So uh, like my tires, I had no idea. I I've owned trucks before, but they were smaller trucks like Ford Rangers. So I bought a, a Dodge Ram truck a couple of years ago, and I had no idea the difference in tires price between a Ford Ranger and a Ram. It's it's almost a thousand dollars in tires. I was like, and that's just like good year, like normal tire, no special tire for a truck or anything. So anyway, that being said, uh, I haven't had a lot of time to get on and watch you guys' videos, guys and gals, uh, and I've just now this. Uh, past few days it slowed down enough to where I could start making videos again and, and uh, I'm not going to be able to get caught up I just missed too many videos but I'm going to try and get back in there start watching videos again so apologize for that as always man I, I always feel bad when something happens and I'm not able to to watch videos especially there's a lot of you that you know even if I don't watch your videos you still comment on mine and stuff and that's you know that's cool I, I don't expect it it's cool and I always feel bad because I can't watch yours so like I said, try to get back in the swing of things. If everything goes well, I think everything will kind of slow down. I've gone back to work. I was working from home, uh, but I, this is my second week of being back at the office full time. And man, getting caught up there and then having to come home and do all these crazy things, it's just been. And I have narcolepsy, so it's like <laughs> between sleeping and being awake, man, it's been nuts. So, anyway, all that being said, let's get started. Uh, I've not looked up a lot of information on any of these albums, so I'm just going to tell you what I know. Some of these I don't know much. Uh, sometimes, you know, before I make a video, I'll look stuff up if I don't know a band that well uh, to give you some information, but it's going to be limited. So I'll tell you what I know, but it's going to be quick. Uh, this is one I've been after for a while. This is the original pressing of Kill 'em All by Metallica, uh, the UK pressing on Music for Nations. Uh, I have also um, been looking for this. Uh, there was a 1987 or 89 uh, 45 RPM that is supposed to be the best sounding uh, pressing. And so I'm going to grab that as well. Uh, this is in, you know, very good shape. So it wasn't as expensive as most of the Kill 'em All. Uh, like I say, this is the Music for Nations uh, original pressing. And, um, you know, it's in very good shape. It, you know, it's got some issues playing, not major, but, you know, it's not a perfect, you know, album with no cracks and pops. It's got it, so, um, but, uh, you know, and I've watched it a few times. It's just been played a lot, and, you know, that's reflected in what I paid for it. If you buy one of these in VG Plus to near mint, and it has the t-shirt the uh, advertisement in it, mine doesn't have that. Uh, you're going to pay $200, $280, you know, so I didn't pay that for this, but. I did pay more than I normally would, just because I want it. And so I'm actually going to put it up and frame it and not play it. So. And who's the advertisement? I thought I pulled it out. Oh, the, sorry, not the advertisement, but the, the enter. Uh, it's just like the uh, Mega Force Pressing, if you've ever seen it. Um, one side with the pictures and the other side with the lyrics. Uh, and one place it says Made in the UK, and on the album itself, which I'll show you. Uh, it says made in uh, France. So who knows where it's made? It's made in the UK. That's it. Yeah, there's, the, uh, there's the labels, the Music for Nations. If I come across the Megaforce original pressing under $100, which I'm probably not going to find in, in any kind of decent shape, uh, I'll pick it up too. But uh, this and that 45 RPM pressing uh, is. Uh, Two 12 inch LPs, it's like three songs per side uh, and 45 RPM, and it's supposed to sound great. So, I'm looking for it as well when I have the money. Alright, moving on. Uh, I don't know much about this band. I just 
found out about them uh, through uh, YouTube, um, just checking out some uh, punk bands, and I re I'm really into like the English Oi bands, and so I uh, come across uh, Evil Conduct when I was looking at them, and this album, Working Class Anthems, um, the song that, that pulled me in uh, was uh, Working Class Heroes. Man, what a great song! If you get a chance, look that uh, look that video up, Working Class Heroes. But uh, yeah, Evil Conduct, Working Class Anthems. This is on Brass City Records. I guess it's the second album they put out because it says Brass City Ball Sound Catalog Number Two. So, yeah, just some really really good punk. Uh, pretty sure these guys are from the UK, but I could be wrong. Again, I haven't looked these guys up. But yeah, dig them. Check them out. Oh, here's the uh, vinyl. It's 180 gram. I guess it's a repress, and I don't know. I haven't checked into it. But if you like Oi Punk and you haven't heard these guys, check them out. I dig it. All right, moving right along. All right, so a couple years ago, I come across this band. I guess probably through YouTube as well. Uh, Napalm, Thrash, I think they're out of, are they out of New York or New Jersey somewhere? No, Germany, sorry. No, that's where the record company is from. I don't know where they're from. It says New York. Alright, so New York. Uh, yeah, they didn't get much love, man, but uh, i tell you what drew me in was this album cover. It reminds me uh, a little bit of that Zentrix, uh Shattered Existence album cover. Uh, but... Yeah, I've always dug that album cover, and uh, gosh, there's three or four songs on here I really like. Uh, Attack on America I like, um, Combat Zone, but uh, I've only gave this a listen to a couple of times since I got it, man. But if, uh, yeah, if you like, uh, you know, obscure 80s thrash, I think this actually came out in 88, no, 89, uh, on Steam Hammer, believe it or not. It's kind of weird, a New York thrash band coming out on Steam Hammer. So, um... Napalm. Cruel Tranquility. I did a vinyl rip, and I don't think it's been blocked. Uh, and it comes with the one sided in it. It was kind of weird, man. I think I think this was. I, I'm not sure. I think this held the. This was an inner sleeve that held the album. I think it's been torn. But it came with this. And I kept it. I kept this, even though I don't think it's part of the original packaging. Because it's got that, I've only seen this one other time, that uh, home taping is killing music. So this is like before and after, back when people dubbed cassettes in their homes. So I always thought that's funny, so I'm going to keep that. And uh, it's just on, uh, like I said, Steam Hammer. This is the only pressing I know of uh, with Steam Hammer. And I'm sure that's German pressing and maybe some others. Um, but I didn't see anything, you know, past 1989. Napalm. Are they the greatest thrash band of all time? No. They're decent thrash, and uh, I think it's worth picking up. You know, they don't get a ton of love. Some think people think they're just mediocre. I think they're a little bit better mediocre. I, like I say, I picked it up mainly for four songs on it. All right, and I did a rip of one song on this uh, live in the UK. Uh, it won't let me do the whole album. It gets blocked. So uh, this is the. It's actually still considered an unofficial release, even though it's on. Um, noise. So it's kind of weird, and it came out right around. Uh, I want out live. If you remember that, so I'm, I'm going to pick that up as well. But I've always loved that cover as well. I, I'm a. I'm not going to lie. I'm, a, I'm kind of a freak for Halloween covers, man. I love the pumpkin concept. I love the, and I used to know the guy's name that does the, the covers, man, but I've always dug Halloween's art. So, anyway. Uh, this is just, you know, it's a short, I don't know, it's not an EP, but of course it's live uh, in, um, was this all one place? <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. It was recorded in the UK. I don't know if it was all one concert or mixed. It's, there's a place on here that shows... Oh, okay. Never mind. So each song is from a different location. The first one's Hammersmith Odeon, St. David's Hall, Royal Center, City Hall, Playhouse, Apollo, and then the Hummingbird. But all in the UK, so. Hence the live in the UK. And I don't know. Did I show these? Nothing fancy. Uh, original pressing, again, it's on noise, but it's not considered an official release unless they've, they've changed that recently. Well, it's EMI noise. Every time I hear EMI, I sing that stupid song. EMI! Sex Pistols. Uh, okay, this is kind of a weird album. Um, this is a great album. The problem with this album, and I did a rip of it, and if you'll notice, it's not loud. Like, and I, I boosted the sound. It's really it's recorded. It's alive as well. It, it's a uh, it's called Dynamo uh, Doom, uh, and it was recorded in 1988 at the Dynamo Dynamo Open Air Festival. Uh, and 1988 for me is like the heyday of candle mass for me uh, because Messiah Marklin was singing and uh, so this has got Messiah on the vocals for this concert um, it's four songs and they sound great don't get me wrong four songs on side A and then side B is one song and then a medley of Black Sabbath that medley of Black Sabbath just kicks so much ass to it I love that's what got me into this that Black Sabbath medley I come across and then this this just came out I don't know this year no 2019 and I come across it and it said the the Black Sabbath medley right there and I was like is that the one I saw and it was like oh my god it's the Dynamo open air from 88 video, uh, video that I saw on YouTube so I picked it up but man I don't know what happened to the volume when they when they cut the vinyl on this thing but man it's not loud and I boosted it so that's the only you know it sounds great it's just Man, you've got to jack the volume up. And I kept jacking up enough on that vinyl rip. So if you listen to it and you're like, Farley, what are you doing? It's not loud. It's not my fault. Uh, gold. Uh, I guess gold. Just regular gold. With black labels. Not fancy. It wasn't very much. I think you probably get this around 15 bucks. I don't know how many were cut. I don't know if the gold's limited or not. But I don't really care. I mean, I'd, I'd be just happy with the black. And uh, got like a little story there. Who wrote this story? Behind the Wall of Doom. Okay, so apparently there's a book called Behind the Wall of Doom, and that's an excerpt from the book. Doesn't, it doesn't say who wrote it. And then just some concert footage. Kettle Mass, the best Doom band of all time. Dang. Even if I don't try to say much about the albums, it runs long. Flag and Molly. Uh, if you don't know Flag and Molly, uh, this is from 98, 99, somewhere in that neighborhood originally. So this is 2002, so I think I think this is a repressing. But anyway, to make a long story short. Uh, oh, 97. So... But uh, Gatefold, Flag and Molly, Drunken Lullabies, my favorite Flag and Molly album. I also enjoy Swagger and um, Within a Mile of Home. I'm going to be picking up some more Flag and Molly. I had all their stuff on the CD before, but um, if you hadn't heard, all my CDs got ruined by moisture when they were stored under a house, so mold. It was terrible. Uh, but Drunken uh, Lullabies, great song. Uh, if you remember Fastway, you'll remember Dave King. He was the guitarist and vocalist for Fastway. He is now the leader of this band. Plays acoustic guitar, sometimes electric, and uh, just, a, just a great band. Saw them live a few, uh, yeah, been a few years now. And it was great, man. It was a fantastic concert. Uh, some of their more recent stuff, though, doesn't impress me. This is, I don't know, I think 200 gram, really thick, with the labels uh, from the album cover. 
Yeah, if you like Irish punk or uh, you know Irish rock in the you know the vein of like the Pogues, the Mahones, the McKenzies, uh, that kind of stuff, um, Flag of Molly, check them out. I think you'll dig them. They played the uh, what was that? What was that punk tour? The Vans Warp. They played it like every year for like five or six years. So uh, I did not see them at the Warp tour. Though I saw them with. Big Uncle John's big damn band or something like that. Really, really kind of. It's kind of cool. Well, I don't. I didn't buy their album or anything, but they were pretty cool. Played a washboard. Anyway, big damn band. Uncle John's big. I don't remember that name. Of them. Cool. All right. Finally, yeah. Everybody probably knows if you know me. This is my favorite song of all time. I'm just collecting every kind of version I can of of this. So this is uh, the 12 inch Maxi single from the UK on um, Vertigo. Uh, and it's got uh, one, it's 45 RPM. On one side is one, the long version, and on side two, uh, For Whom the Bell Tolls, Tolls and Welcome Home Sanitarium Life. And they sound really good. So I can say, um, I've been wanting the maxi single. Uh, um, I think the only thing left for me to get will be the picture disc, and I'll be happy. I'll probably not. I'll probably find some other version I want. But I'm at a point really in my collection where I can kind of go after some, some things you know that I've been wanting uh, the only issue will be if I have the money to afford them but you know I can be a little more more choosy and, and kind of look for some things that I've been looking for for a while because you know so far you know I've picked up the, all the albums the new release albums this year that I want so far so I feel like I'm in a pretty good place in my record collection that, and uh, I could kind of look for some stuff that I've been wanting and uh, like I say the only issue will be the funding depends on how much it you know costs I don't know how much that 45 RPM kill them all will cost but it'll be it'll be over 80 it's right between 60 to 80 for a, just a you know very good very good plus copy so anyway and I probably I'm, that's one I want to play just because I heard it sounds really really good so I'm going to frame up the uh 83 pressing on Music for Nations and, and play the Kill em All 45 at least once and if it sounds as good as I've heard it sounds then I'll probably choose that to listen to um, and I also have the Black and Remaster but it's so it's got so much trouble so much high end it just it, it's it gets me ear fatigue listening to it just from the symbols so anyway that's it I've talked long enough Hey, thanks for sticking with me if you did. If you didn't, hey, that's cool too. You'll never see this. But uh, I appreciate you all. Again, for everybody that, that comments on you know my videos, even when you know I don't respond and, and, and comment back to you or, or comment on your videos, I appreciate it, man. You don't have to. Uh, you know what I mean? It's, it's, just, it's just been crazy. So, again, apologize for that, and hopefully things will slow down now and, and get back to normal. This COVID knocked everybody for a loop, especially with my job, and then, you know, while I'm at home, things just start falling apart. I come, I come in uh, one day, and it was like 82 in the house, and I cannot stand it to be above 70 in my home. It has to be below 70. And so when the AC went out, or the central heating, I was miserable. So uh, it's patched up temporarily. It will go out again, and I will have to replace it, and it's about 5000 So I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway, enough, enough complaining. I'm happy with the records, man. I know, you know, I'm not doing a lot of these updates, but... Sometimes life gets in the way, man. But I do appreciate everybody. Thanks, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.